Hey, hello everybody, it's Dr. Steve back with another episode of Core Wellness TV and today I want to give you a, an alternative hip stretch to the sciatica stretch called the piriformis stretch for back pain and sciatica done right video that has uh, you know nearly 500,000 views on YouTube and there's a lot of people commenting about well whenever they get into this position to stretch their uh, backside of their hip, their piriformis and, and such, that their hip is so tight that they end up doing this. And when that happens, you end up not being able to effectively flatten your spine here like you need to. And that can put you at risk for irritating disc issues. So I want to make sure that you have an alternative to that. So instead of the, you know, if, you're, if your knee comes up to here when you stretch you try to stretch then we're going to actually go to the floor okay so that is the alternative we're going to switch over here and you can use uh, I'm going to get on the mat here first just like this and all you're going to do is do the same thing okay so it's going to be easier since you're laying on the ground and you're not having to sit upright and it still may look like this but all you're going to do is uh, you're going to get in this position and simply lift your other leg up and pull it towards you. Okay? And the other thing I like to do with this is allow a little bit of sideways drift in both directions to help kind of scour that hip joint. Here's what I mean from this position. You're going to cross and you're going to lift up just a little bit and you got to watch so you don't grab and you got to watch so you don't grab and pull like this. We want to stay completely straight with our posture all the way, okay? So you're going to cross, bring your knee up just a little bit, grab onto your foot and go as far as you can. And then you're just going to let things slowly drift over and you're going to breathe every out breath. See if you can allow that to drift over just a little bit more. And that will be an alternate way to stretch your piriformis muscle, not necessarily just your piriformis muscle, but the whole backside of your hip, your posterior capsule, the ligaments in the backside of your hip. It's so important to have that motion so you can spare your spine and keep your disc from getting injured and it's just a really really wonderful stretch i feel better already just doing it for that little bit of a time so that's the alternative try that and let me know what you think uh, if you want a response please visit the blog at the description if you're on youtube just visit the link in the description below the video and that'll take you to the gettoyourcore.com blog where you can interact and ask any question that you would like all right thanks a lot guys and try that out, let me know what you think. Bye-bye. One last alternative for the lying on your back hip stretch or supine hip stretch is to use, it, use a ball or a chair so you don't have to lift your legs up on your own. And this is going, you know, you should be able to kind of lift your leg up and pull it towards you, but the ball makes it really nice to make that nice and easy, as you can see here. You go up, you get, lay on the floor nice and flat, you can cross the leg. And then it becomes really easy to modify the angle of your hip. And it, it, it makes you not have to reach up and grab anything and put your upper body into risk of being in bad alignment. So it's awesome. Plus, you can also press down into the ball with your heel and get the activation of your hamstring in the back. So this is a great way to do that. And again, don't forget the sideways drift. And every exhale, you see if you can get a little more out of it. If you did, you know, 10 breaths and every breath you allowed a little more length into your muscle, that's going to allow you to make great gains very quickly. So try that for the modified modification. All right. Uh, in, uh, any comments, go to the blog, get to your core .com, uh, backslash whatever this post is, right? Just look at the description below the video. See you next time. Bye-bye.